Rows and columns work in conjunction with one another, allowing for dynamic content in all parts of your page. Now, we already covered how rows work in a stacked vertical structure from the top of the page to the bottom, but columns are smaller, more contained spaces that exist inside of rows and allow for content to sit horizontally across a row. Our first two rows here on our services page demonstrate examples of rows with only one single column, hence why there's no content sitting horizontally or next to each other. But now let's scroll down to this third row, lighting. Here we have some content stacked on the left, including this divider line, header text, body text, and a button. But over here on the right, we have this image sitting on its own. This has been accomplished with the addition of a second column to this row. And I think the best way I can explain this visually would be to add an additional column. So up here in my row settings, I'm gonna click to add and then column. And there we go. We now have a third column ready for content here on the far right. And if we no longer need it, we can remove it right here, just like that. You can have up to four columns in a row, and if your row is set to full bleed like this one is, they'll evenly span the entire width of your browser with the content as you've placed it. And just like rows, each column has its very own design panel. I'm gonna give a click here on our buddy with the screwdriver, and here we have a design panel labeled Column Design, offering us the same powerful design and configuration tools that we just saw for rows. You can fill it with a color, gradient, image, or video with ease. Same image options, border settings, color settings, and of course, spacing settings. The use of columns and rows together are what allow you to not only display content anywhere you want on the page, but keeps said content organized to look beautiful in a responsive layout so that no matter how wide or narrow the browser, everything is still concise and preventing overlap. The extra beautiful thing is that it allows for seamless mobile layout conversion. If we take this same page and we'll switch over to our phone layout, we can see the exact same columns with the exact same content, but converted into a more vertical structure appropriate for a vertical screened mobile device. 